Hello, my dear students. So, all of you take out your grammar book, page number 3, chapter 1. And as you know, in our physical classes, I have explained up to exclamatory sentence. Now, today in this video, I will explain the impartive sentence. So, what is impartive sentence? When we give an order or comment, make a request, give advice or suggestion, we use impartive sentence. In impartive sentence, the subject is usually not present but is understood. Now, a sentence that expresses a comment, a request or an advice is called an impartive sentence. Now, you see, keep your room clean, it is an order. No, please sit down, it is a request. Never trust a stranger, it is an advice. So, lots of examples are there. Clean the room, please give me a book, do not tell a lie. These are the examples. So, hope you understand, my dear student. You make notes of it. As I, I told earlier also, you make notes of exclamatory sentence, an example, impartive sentence, an example. Now, today we will hear in this video, I will solve the exercise 2. Identify what type of each sentence given below is. Change the interrogative and exclamatory sentence into assertive one. Change the assertive sentence into interrogative one. So, in this video, in this, these are the statements and we have to identify what sentence it is. So, first we have to identify after that what we have to do. If it, if it is interrogative and exclamatory sentence, then we have to change into assertive. And if it is assertive sentence, then we have to change this one into interrogative. Let's solve the exercise. Let's do the first one. What a pretty picture. So, my dear student, what sentence it is? It is an exclamatory sentence. Now, in your according to question, we have to solve exclamatory sentence. We have to change this one into assertive. So, what you will write? The answer will be, it is a pretty picture. Now, after that, we have to put one full stop. Number two, do you see the rainbow as it is? End with a question mark. So, it is what? This is an interrogative sentence. So, interrogative sentence, what we have to do? We have to turn into assertive one. So, what will be the answer? You saw the rainbow because the did is there. No, it is in past tense. So, you saw the rainbow. After that, full stop. Number three, TP is in class eight. Now, this sentence, what sentence it is? First, you have to identify the sentence. This is an assert assertive sentence. Now, assertive sentence, what you will do? We have to turn this one into interrogative, assertive sentence into interrogative. So, what you will write? It is very easy. Is TP in class 8? After that, there is a question mark. Okay. Number 4. Who gave you this book? Now, this is what? Interrogative sentence. What do you have to do? We have to turn this interrogative into assertive. What you will write? Someone gave you this book. Full stop. Now, the answer will be who gave you this book? Number 5, please enter your details in the given form. Now, it is please is written, so it is an impartive sentence. So, in this, according to the question, it is not given that in, there is no such mention that in, you have to change impartive sentence into assertive or interrogative. It is not written there. So, we will not do this one. Okay. So, have you seen Akash anywhere? This is an interrogative sentence. What you will write? What you will write? Very easy. You write, you have you seen Akash anywhere? So, it will be, you have seen Akash anywhere? Full stop. Number seven, I could hardly recognize him. It is very easy. You have to turn this one into intuitive. How will do? This is modal. So, I, as you know, I told you auxiliary or modal is there. You just take out the model or auxiliary and you put before the subject. Okay. So, could I hardly recognize him? Question mark. Or if it is WS question, what you will learn? How can I recognize him? You can write in two way. WS question or yes no question. Okay. Now, turn the page. Number 8. Shut the door and sit down. Though it is not mentioned that we don't change inter impartive sentence. So, we will not do this one. Okay. This is an impartive sentence. Is there any butter in the freeze? Number 9. It is an uh, interrogative sentence. And we have to turn this one into assertive. So, what will be the answer? There is any butter in the freeze. It's very, very easy. Now, number 10. This was is quite expensive. Now, you have to turn this one into interrogative. How we will write? Is the was quite expensive? Now, question mark. This is the way you know, wrote, note down this one into your copy. Okay. And after in the next video, we will discuss the formation, the, neg the negative. How to do negative sentence. Okay. So, my dear student. You thoroughly read grammar, very important. Grammar is very important. 
you make notes and you go thoroughly the books so till then bye bye